in this video, we want to fix an issue that we had in the previous one, where when we would go to add an item to the inventory, like so, we can see it, and then add another one, we have the issue of it just simply being added in the same slot. So the easiest way to fix this is replace our grid, uniform grid panel, with a wrap box. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So we're going to drag in a wrap box. Let's go to our grid inventory. We're just going to copy the name and delete it. Press yes. Move the wrap box up, and we want to set it so it's filled in the same manner. So we're going to anchor to the center. Give it the same name as grid inventory. Check his variable. And size it. So 750, 350. Fix this set to fill. So 750, 350, 750, 100. So 750, 350, 750, 100. Like so, so it fits. Head over to the graph. You can actually ignore that. We're going to grab our grid inventory. And we can simply add child like before. Let's give this a try. See what happens. Press E. It's there. Press E. And it's there. So we know everything is seemingly working. We're just going to add a bunch of items here. And as you can see, it goes through and it'll move it onto the next line once it is filled. So that's pretty good there. We know it'll continually add. And in this case, because we are not going to be adding a bunch of empty slots, instead we want to just simply restrict the, you know, amount of items we can have. We are going this route. So that'll work, you know, great as is there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these extra items. Save all, and I'd say we are good to go. Let's move this into a more cleaner looking spot. And call it a day. So, that fixes that issue there. We can delete our print string because that is no longer needed. And we know we are easily able to add items to our inventory. So in the next video, we're going to go through and we're going to set it up so when our inventory is open, we want to disable the input of our character. And then when we are in our HUD or something like that, or sorry, when we view the crosshair, we close our inventory. We want to regain access and be able to move around. So I'll see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.